Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't met me before, my name is Ashana. I'm 22 years old from London and I'm currently in my final year of law school at the University of Bristol. Now that the introduction is out of the way, I have some big news, some announcements, some updates. Um, I'm currently finishing up with some of my final exams, my coursework. It is, it's crazy intense, but my approach has been to work joyfully not hard yeah in the last kind of few months i was obviously going through like lots of thoughts lots of kind of like you know traditional thought patterns for students that kind of approach the end of the university i'm in a really fortunate position to be able to have secured a job for my future in the field of law but i do have a year coming up um from when i graduate to when i have to start a practice course to become a lawyer and i've just been thinking like okay, I could do lots of traveling, I could be exploring the world, making, you know, lots of new connections and living for the experiences. But I wanted to find something that I could literally like pour myself into, some kind of outlet, some kind of discipline, just something that I could be working on, gaining some life capital, gaining some actual tangible skills so that I can go into the world of work with a better understanding of who I am, a better understanding of what it is that drives me and maybe some of my hidden passions, right? And of course, I have my YouTube channel and that is not something I'm going to give up. I'm going to be making content, hopefully really exciting content and lots of new adventures, discovery through this channel, through this medium. Lots of opportunities are out there. We just have to go out and find them. As a uni student, I get so many emails and all these emails have opportunities for summer abroad, for jobs, for internships. And I have read every single email and it is partly because of the options and the opportunities that are presented in front of me that I'm able to sit here and say that, you know, I'm going to go and study graphic design. So I think if anyone's watching and kind of being like, oh my goodness, I would love to do something like that, but I just don't know how to find something or I don't know how to kind of start researching, I would really encourage you to work with what you have already because it can be so overwhelming to just like search online and then you've got like so many things and lots of information that becomes really hard to digest. As uni students, we really have a lot to work with. And maybe a lot of the time it's just about approaching the careers advice person at your university and having a chat with them and, and seeing what kind of things that they could offer you at this time. So why graphic design? You're probably thinking like, what the hell like that's so random you do law what is going on why are you going to art school what is up i chose to study law at university because i just didn't know what else to do i knew that law was a very kind of versatile uh, degree it could open up many doors i thought it would be cool for like three years and you know what it hasn't difficult it hasn't challenging but it has really opened up my eyes as to the fact that you can literally do anything in your life it does not have to be linked to what you studied at uni. Actually, I think as long as you are driven and that you're kind of like entrepreneurial and you seek possibilities, you seek opportunities and you have a good network around you, you can really, you know, do anything um, and, and start something as well for yourself. So that leads me on really nicely to talking about graphic design and why I've chosen to maybe study that. A lot of my hobbies, my personal interests align with just kind of design. I also love collage. So like I literally have, I'll show you right now, a bag of goods, of goodies. And I just like collect like loads of random materials, whether it be like cardboard, um, kind of like nice paper from bags. I've got lots of magazines that I just find, uh, Billy Eilish is in here, and I will just make cards and I will just kind of, you know, be creative. So, with my YouTube channel, for example, I love making the little thumbnails, I love editing on Final Cut. I think it's something that's really fun and I like that it's just so accessible, I can do it wherever I want to. I love using it as a sort of downtime from like uni work and I do find it really entertaining, kind of like seeing the colours, using different fonts, typography, take off the videography side of things and we're looking at like photo editing. Graphic design is such a broad thing. It is literally just like anything that you can see that has been designed. So think about like labels for your favourite food or like it can be clothes, these are all design, uh, shop logos, um, adverts, um, movie trailers. 
there is a design element in everything that we see around us. I think that we are all low-key designers, like whether you think of it as a designer of your own life, a designer of your relationships, a designer of the way that you dress. We all dress in a way that kind of designs ourselves and shapes our identities. Um, we design our food. We're constantly designing. It's just like a word that just encom encompasses like so many things in life. So the idea of studying graphic design was really just about giving my inner child, my creative abilities, that time and that space, that kind of encouragement to see what I can do with, with my creativeness in a space which is designed for you know, being creative, being artistic, producing things, and also in an academic context. Um, I'm used to studying law, so going into a university which is literally specialised in design, interior design and classic fine art is going to be just so random and just so new for me. But I'm very ready to embrace all of that and to take it up with an open heart and open arms. And I'm very, very, very just like so happy and lucky and privileged to be self-aware enough that I think that this is something that I would really enjoy in the future or just as like a side thing or just as a hobby, you know, who knows what it might lead to, but the point is, like, I'm willing to jump in, I'm willing to jump into the deep end and see what it might lead to, and I think that that is so important, and if this is a lesson for my future self, it is about you know what, no matter what your life looks like, no matter what your kind of situation looks like, your relationships, what you're doing in your life, if there comes a time where you feel like you want to do something new, you want to expand your skills, expand your horizons, there is never a better time than now. And just having that feeling um, and following your intuition is enough. Um, and so I hope that, you know, in 10, 20, 30 years, 40 years, if I want to start something new, if I want to start skating, if I want to start scuba diving, if I want to do anything, pick up a new skill, maybe even change career fields, that I will have that confidence and I will have that knowing in myself that it, it is possible and that I can do it. I'm so grateful that I'm able to share all of these experiences online. This was my intention from... When I started my channel, I just knew that I had lots of exciting things coming up and being able to document this for myself is incredibly, incredibly powerful. But to be able to document it and in a way that is accessible and like kind of collaborative and people are able to watch and comment and share, that is so special for me and it literally lights me up inside. So a massive thank you guys for watching this video, for taking the time out of your days to share with me. It is a pleasure and I will see you very, very soon for a new video. Bye guys.